I'm Zion. And I'm Judah. And this is The Amateur Film Critics. The Amateur Film Critics. So, yep. today, we have a pretty famous movie on the docket, actually. For context, Zion had seen this movie before. This yeah, was my first time watching times. it, though. I've watched which is it surprising. Okay, so Z- I didn't wait. You've watched it a lot. Of I mean, I knew you'd seen it before, but I didn't realize you'd watched I've it a lot of watched times. Watched it. I've watched it multiple times. I would say wow! All right. Maybe about maybe ten or so times. I don't know. All right. So, if you couldn't figure out by the title, today's movie is The Karate Kid. Yes. Uh. Which, it's kind of funny that I had never seen this movie up until now. I've done Taekwondo for, like, eight years, and I am a black belt, and, like, never seen this movie. I had never seen The Karate Kid. And I feel like it's one of those movies that, uh, like, you know, you're almost too expected to have seen. Zion wore his special Karate Kid shirt that I didn't even know he had until we started filming today. Let's just get right into it, and I'll read our plot summary. Daniel moves to Southern California with his mother, Lucille. I did not know her name was Lucille, but quickly finds himself the target of a group of bullies who study karate at the Cobra Kai Dojo. Fortunately, Daniel befriends Mr. Miyagi. It's Miyagi, not Miyagi. Not and assume Miyagi. An, unass- <laughs> an unassuming repairman who just happens to be a martial arts master himself. Miyagi takes Daniel under his wing training him in a more compassionate form of karate, preparing him to compete against the brutal Cobra Kai. Uh, That's the plot of the movie. I gotta say, the plot of this movie is not complex at all, but for this, like, as far as the story goes, it's still a really good story. It's a good, like, so hot story. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um. So... Getting right into talking about the plot. Zion, what are your thoughts about the plot? Well, uh, the plot is good. I feel like... I like how they kind of go deep into the character's emotions with the plot. I know. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, most of the plot is... It's just this kind of... Uh, uh, darted the typical maybe films tropes of there's a bully who's bullying the mm-hmm. other kid and b- but in this film it seems like the bully has a reason to he I know and yeah. you see that all these characters have reasons to what they do you know yeah I guess I see what you say oh honestly like, the, this film did, I don't know when this film came out. I knew it was the 80s, but I don't know, like, at what point in the 80s it was. Four. 1980. 1984? Four. Yeah, this does play a lot on, like, like 80s high school movie tropes in a way. Yeah. Um. And as far as the bully, like, goes, like, yeah, they give him sort of a reason, but I don't think it's any a way of a good reason for bullying him. Um... But well, they do play like that. Well, there's there's the shot of him. He comes to the beach, and then he sees because he's still in love with this uh girl, and you see he goes and sees this uh new kid kind of flirting with the mm-hmm. girl. So even though he approaches her in a bad way, you know, I still think yeah. It, reason uh they're still giving him a reason for doing this they are just yeah no reason at all you know and i would i would say to i would say also that you might be more you might be more sensitive to this character as far as looking at him in a better light because you've watched the show. Because I watch cobra kai and I, <laughs> watch cobra kai and I know there's a heavy like you know like there's a they, heavy focus on Johnny's character, and I know he's no, in the show Cobra Kai. In the show Cobra Kai, they 
they replay a lot of clips from the old movies. And so yeah, I've probably seen certain clips more times than I've actually seen this movie, probably just movie. how much they show clips yeah. of the old movie. You know, so I've probably analyzed this clip, you know. You, um, yeah, you really analyzed these clips. Yeah. Can we just go straight into the characters in the film? Because yeah, I feel like that's absolutely. where I think we're going to... You think that's where this movie shines it. a lot, yeah. It shines in the characters okay. and... So let's uh, start with let's start with Daniel. Daniel? He's okay. obviously... Our, He's obviously like our protagonist and all that. Um, you, you're sympathetic for him. He already didn't want to move, uh, and now he he's like move, really now he's... like he's getting physically assaulted by these yeah, by these well, other kids. And the friends that he does make kind of abandon him until the very end of the film, where they're now cheering him on. Like, why would you know? Wait, so, they were cheering him on so at the end in the, of the beach film. scene. In the beach scene, after Daniel is kicked and beat up by Johnny and he's just lying there, uh, of the there's the scene of the friends, uh, of the friend he made man the friends of that friend of made kind of telling him to come on, he's not worth it, and so a uh, friend goes with the yeah. friends, so. In the last scene, you see on the bleachers, uh, the, uh, the friends of the friend. I don't know if the friend was there, but I did mm -hmm. notice the friends in the bleachers. There's a shot where they focus on the on the friends and the bleachers, like a close-up shot. And so then they're seen coming after him and raising him up and... They're like they have supported him. <laughs> like they were the supporting him the entire time. time. Yeah, <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, yeah. And that's funny. The <laughs> friends, like the friends that Danny initially makes, is just funny because I I just called him Danny, the but I don't know if anyone movie. called him Danny at all through this movie. Daniel, they the friends that Daniel. Daniel does make at the yeah, the friends that Daniel does make at the, in the beginning. You see him after the beach scene. You see him a little bit. In this one scene where they just have like loosely structured outdoor time at their high school, I'm not sure what was going on there. Yeah. Um, like you see them there, but like then, like you never see them again. So they like yeah, literally disappear, which I find is literally funny. Disappear. At least until yeah. the end when they come. Lift maybe them they, maybe they are in the deleted scenes of the film because in Cobra Kai they show this one clip of the past film where Daniel sits on yeah. such on like a chocolate pie or something that Johnny had put what? there. They just randomly cut to this clip. And so I'm thinking there's some deleted scenes kind of like in the Scooby Doo film. But oh yeah. I don't think these were as important to the plot as the they Scooby Doo gotta... ones, you know. I I'm very glad they took out the scene with the chocolate pie because that I'm, just seems like overly they... stupid. Like, yeah, uh, I, I don't want to call it, like high school bullying antics or whatever you want to call it. That just seems, yeah, that seems, that's more have... like the scene. Yeah. That's more like a uh, diary of a wimpy kid than the karate kid. Um, yeah, yeah. So, but like focusing on Daniel, I think Daniel is a good character, and we definitely see him grow but i do not think there's actually that much character development i mean yeah he gets slightly more responsible and he definitely gets like a better understanding of what karate is about and like not fighting and all that but it doesn't seem like it takes that much to make him realize that i think he was yeah, almost he... a good kid from the beginning daniel seems kind of cocky to me maybe that's because i watched cobra kai but no, <laughs> uh, but in this film, re rewatching it this time, and like his yeah. whole attitude, like seems kind of like he's a cocky kid. Hey, you know he's he he yeah. has that Brooklyn accent to him. Yeah, he, he's from Jersey. He's from Jersey. He relies heavily on the Jersey accent, but um, yeah, he seems. 
And, you know, he, he's, even when, like, Mr. Miyagi is training him, he seems like this cocky kid who knows it all, but then he understands more. Like, he, he, even though he understands more of the lore behind Mr. Miyagi's teaching, um, mm-hmm. I still think he's, he still kind of acts in a cocky way. His character doesn't change from being cocky to who this perfect kid, you know, but that's yeah. opinion. And and that's nice. I think Yeah. I, I think it's nice that they don't transform into this perfect kid. That would just be a little much and kind of trophy. Yeah, I think it's so seems did not see them more, trans- yeah. form it, completely into a perfect kid. I feel like there could have been more character development than there actually was for him. Yeah, um, it makes Daniel. I I feel like him not transforming too much seems more yeah. of a realistic way of, and it makes the movie seem more realistic on this could happen. I know. Yeah, it, it seems like more oh. realistic. Character. All right, let's talk about the MVP of the film, though, Mister Miyagi himself. Is Mister Miyagi the MVP? Is oh, he's who totally. Do you think was the best character? I I mean, come on. All right, so like you know, John the sort Kreese, of like man. John Kreese. He is the he is the instructor for Cobra Kai. John Kreese in this film. Whoa! <laughs> what? Okay. All right. All, all right. right. Let's talk Kreese. about John Kreese then. <laughs> He's a perfect bad guy, first of all. Yeah, so that's, like, why he, I never, that's why I like him. I never, I really, really hated him. It's like, he, you love to hate him, but I don't know about MVP. You're the telling way. me this character's better than Mr. Miyagi? The way he performed his performance, I thought was better than Mr. Miyagi, but maybe that's how oh, they they wrote these characters, but... Yeah, I think it's I how like they wrote Mr. these Kreese. characters. You John like, Christ. I mean, it was a very, I, it, you know, when you actually do look at it, mm-hmm. if, if you look at like Mr. Crease and Mr. Miyagi, they have this very good, like, they're like complete total opposites. And I think that's, yes, that's a nice totally. dynamic to have in the, in the movie that uh-huh. it's like narrative wise and all that. I think that that's a really nice dynamic to have. Um, this has got nothing to do with the characters, but I love at the very end, uh, okay, first of all, he says to the one kid, he says to Bobby, I believe was his name, put him out of commission, Ooh. right? Keep the leg. Sweep the leg. Oh, yeah, but before the sweep the leg, he tells him to put him out of commission, right? And that kid already feels like, but I get disqualified. You can tell that kid's yeah. questioning what he's telling him. And then the minute that kid does actually put him out of commission, so he goes so down and he says, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it, Daniel. I didn't mean it. And then just a few scenes later, when uh, Johnny is fighting, oh, uh, when Johnny is fighting Daniel, behind the, oh, behind what's his, behind Mr. Crease, right? The same right. kid who put him out of commission, or you know what I'm saying? Is like, like, overly enthusiastically yeah. cheering. Yeah! Like, it's this, like, death <laughs> cheer. He just wants to see this Get kid get killed. Bag. It... <laughs> I'm a body bag. <laughs> and I find that so funny because he has this immediate guilt after doing it, yet just a few yeah. scenes later, we've transformed him back into, oh, I am ready for this kid to die. <laughs> but, yeah, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, so... Do with anything, but... The dynamic between Mr. Miyagi and Mr. Kreese is very interesting. I think another interesting thing is that usually, like, Mr. Miyagi would be kind of trope, like, tropey, you know what I'm saying? Or stereotypical. Uh huh. Like, the whole, like, mysterious old, like, Asian guy. But they do, like, they give Mr. Miyagi the most depth, in my opinion, out of any character Probably. in this movie. I mean,. I like how they kind of tell its backstory without saying a whole too lot of words. They kind of show you some mm-hmm. artifacts from his past. And yeah, I it's not. It a bit. I mean, yeah. It's not super spelled out to you. The only scene that fi- kind of felt weird, where it felt like they were spelling it out to you, 
is when we Daniel bothers to read. Drunk. He reads the we letter. He, he gets drunk. Well, yeah, but like, oh, no. yeah, like the 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 drunk scene wasn't bad to me. But then Daniel has to go and actually read the letter, which is basically exactly what Mr. Miyagi just drunkenly said. And I was like, oh, we're gonna bother to spell this out <laughs> again. <laughs> But yeah, like, so that was one of the reasons I think Mr. Miyagi, like, stuck out so much, because I did not, ex- I was not expecting him to have so much of a backstory, like, you know, he went off to war and fought for the American side, uh, even though, like, he would have been fighting against other, like, Bonsai. he would have been fighting, like, against Japanese Bonsai. people. Bonsai, yes. Bonsai. I, I tell you, this movie did make me want to get a bonsai tree. <laughs> um, I think I would like that. I... Oh, they show a lot of bonsai trees. In the they show he has a lot of bonsai trees. Like, where do you even get that many bonsai trees? So, hey, I know this is like LA and all that, movie. but you gotta watch the other movies to fully understand the bonsai tree, especially the third movie. Like, you, okay. you gotta watch them. And I gotta, also watch, gotta watch all four seasons of Cobra seasons Kai. Of Cobra Kai. Actually, I will. I will. Be your next thing to watch i will i, I i'm excited so i'm i'm really excited for cobra kai because people do rave about that I, i'm worried about the next two movies because they do not have great score like reviews but i'm hoping those are you know not but, right and but still you movies. still you still have to watch the other two movies though because they do call back to them in cobra kai and so yeah you can't understand all of the jokes and the references if you haven't mm-hmm. watched the other two movies, but yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, as far as the other characters go, I don't his girlfriend, I mean like she's a good she's a good character. I don't think she's yes. anything particularly special. Uh I mean this actress is kind of like this is kind of the actress who went on to do the most things after this, because they she's after been it. in, she was in the Back to the Future equals that they made. Like, she, she was mm-hmm. Mar- Marnie's girlfriend in the Huss equals the Back to the Future. And she also had her own movie called Adventures in the Babies. Eighteen after this, she so, was like, in Adventures is... in Babysitting. She was Holy kind of cow. the main character in that. She, she was the she, main she, character she, of that. Was... I did not know that. Yeah. Well, and I and I know that she's not Sabrina Carpenter. I know one. that there's an original. In the original one. one. In the original <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, this... I did not know that. That's not interesting. The horrible oh. Disney Channel one. No, not the horrible it, Disney, Disney Channel one. one wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't great. But you were bad. young when they watched it. You were young That's when you true. watched it. I was so that young. That probably has enough I was to young. Do. All right. Um, um, as far as other characters go, his mob was a great character. I thought she was very charismatic, but again, there's not much to but, say about her. Yeah, we don't need books on her. I mean, have we talked the about Johnny's characters? I think the one we, we do need to talk about is Johnny, because I think he's yeah. one of the more important characters. Yeah, he is an important character. So Johnny's character, basically, he kind of doesn't like Daniel because, number one, he's hitting on his girlfriend, you know? Well, yeah, ex-girlfriend. Like, well, it's his ex-girlfriend to... who, he, who he still loves, and so it kind of forms a hate relationship. And then mm-hmm. Johnny also... Daniel also kind of pranks Johnny in multiple ways, and so that kind of annoys him a lot. I mean, multiple ways. It's really more like one way, and this is after. I want us to remember, this is after Johnny started this by, you know, coming down on the beach and kind of acting like a huge jerk. And then assaulting Daniel. I mean, he could have been drunk when he... (laughs) I don't think drunkenness helps his case here. Oh, like, here's, here's my thing. Uh, okay, so... I'm torn. Because I know you. I know that they're going to redeem... I, I, I think they're... I believe... Okay, I've not seen Cobra Kai. But I believe they're going to redeem his character. And you're never going to look at him the same way you after Cobra Kai. Cobra but looking Kai. back at this, I don't see his character as one you're supposed to like. 
the weirdest part to me is that in the very like the last 60 seconds of the film he gets up he hands the trophy to daniel and says you're well, all right sees, kid well that's because that is because of uh, he sees that the he sees the evilness in John Kreese, and he sees that he shouldn't be with mm. him. And so he goes to him and says, all right, good. But my main problem is that this, it is more of a Cobra Kai problem, really. Okay. Is that in Cobra Kai, that they make Johnny, like, hate Daniel again, which, I mean, did it? Johnny kind of oh not hate Daniel that's interesting. after this scene. Like I've always had a problem with that because like well, that is what probably my in... one bad thing. That's probably my one. I bad mean, if thing they of... just drifted apart, like like if they never were like hung out again after that, like you know you don't really see much of those two characters together ever again. I can see how they can sort of revert back to like how they were before. Where, yeah, there maybe, was this huge but, rivalry yeah. before him. And Daniel also think... does some things to Johnny and Cobra Kai. I'm not gonna say what, because it might spoil. Yeah, don't spoil it. I know that it's I know that there's to... big rivalries between them and all that, but I don't want I don't want spoilers, man. I'm not going to. I, I will, no I think spoilers in the, the comments. Interesting... No spoilers in the comments. No. <laughs> I, I, I will say, I think saying what you said about him realizing the error of his way of like John Kreese's ways. I think that's an interesting point to be made, is because I had not really thought about him seeing how that yeah, is there's... bad. And I, yeah, there's one scene where John Kreese is talking to to Johnny, and you see the close up of his face, and then after John Kreese says he might have said sweep the leg, and then yeah. Johnny has this worried and has this look on yeah, his face he where hey, you know he's. And, you know, he doesn't think that this is a right call, you know, and mm-hmm. wants to fight just like normally, you know, so. Yeah. He sees the error in his ways through that scene, I think, but maybe not with what Cobra Kai does, but. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I, don't... I, I think that's an interesting thing. So, yeah, I'm okay. No, I'm fine. His character is slightly redeemed in my eyes, because as I'm thinking about it now, I think the reason Johnny was really the way he was is because you have this, you have his instructor feeding in all this like anger yeah, and like you no have, mercy attitude in him. Yeah, and that's so the whole real idea villain of this is John Kreese, Dang it! Yeah, yeah, and that's the whole idea behind the Cobra Kai people. That's why they bully Daniel so much. One of the Cobra Kai motto says, "Oh, sa, sa, uh, strike, strike first, strike mm-hmm. fierce, strike hard." No, mama, mama, mama. Yeah. So that's kind of the Cobra yeah. Kai motto, and so with with that in their brains, they 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 just go around and pick on people. That's that's the that's what the evilness he yeah. puts in their brains. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah. let's talk about the fighting in this movie because I gotta say something that really stuck out to me is the fighting in this movie is not quite like anything else I've seen. Well, that's because it's more of karate moves, more taekwondo-ish moves, yeah. more martial arts stuff. And, and, and I like the, it a lot. It, it yeah, feels more really, realistic. Uh-huh, um, yeah. And it, even though it's not like it's it's not like a regular action movie, it's also it also doesn't feel like, you know, like the tr- like the super tropey like uh like kung fu movies as you can put them and stuff like that I feel yeah. like um it's it's not super flashy but it's still like it was still able to like you know really make these I felt I, I felt like there were still stakes in the fights and all that and it still like really it still really came through better and I think that's one of the reasons this movie is so popular like my next question is why is this movie so culturally significant. I think back in the '80s, it was just so different, and especially yeah. in the like the way the fights went, it's what made this uh, one get really popular and then persist to be that popular. Especially is memorable with the way he, Mr. Miyagi teaches Daniel, and you know, mm-hmm. yeah. those I think are memorable, and the move that Daniel does in the very 
end of the film. I think think you can kind the of see it here. Yeah, yeah. The frame kick that that was that 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 whoa, 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 was a famous move made by this movie. I think, but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was it made does. famous by this yeah. movie. That's definitely a culturally also, like iconic um, yeah. scene. Yeah. It's also um, probably iconic because of how memorable the characters are. They kind of make yeah. the yeah. So yeah, it's just as a good new movie. Yeah. I I will say, I'm I'm gonna call I'm I I'm gonna be a little too realistic. I know I'm gonna call like you know, I I'm I'm not gonna suspend imagination to say this, but um, at some point Mr. Miyagi says, if done right, the crane kick has no defense, right? I'm 90% sure there are some defense for the crane kick. It's, it's essentially, I mean, it's a, no. okay, Zion, think back to your days in Taekwondo. It's essentially a jump front kick. Yeah, you basically so, Yeah, to the face, do... and the face is a lot of points. The face is a lot of points, y'all. But Yeah, um, the face is a lot of points. But, like, yeah. you could use your arm, and my biggest problem is that doing this, while it's cool to look at, it, it telegraphs like your move very well, obviously but johnny wasn't i don't think Mr. johnny Priest wasn't trained by johnny, mr miyagi yeah. nowadays no, though johnny, if i was to go up and start no, to do mr. this to someone they would know what i'm about to do because of how popular the karate kid is <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah i think johnny doesn't defend that because mr crease hasn't prepared him for you know for it, was yeah, it sounds like something yeah. that only like Mr. Miyagi, like might be only like significant to Mr. Miyagi. It's not in popular karate yeah. in a way. That's what that's Probably. what I got from it a little bit. Yeah. So with that said, Zion, who's your favorite character? I think I might know this already, but you gotta go with John Crease. It's gotta be John Crease. <laughs> I was not what expecting the problem, this at all Mr. going into this today. Lawrence. What is the problem, Mr. Lolo Lawrence? <laughs> what seems to be the problem, Mr. Lawrence? I just, I'm, I'm uh, shocked. I was, I'm literally shocked. I was not expecting character. you to go into this today and you say that. I kind of liked Daniel's girlfriend in the film because, like, Mally, I think. Yeah, I I kind of like yeah, her. Ellie. I think she's very like yeah. she's she's personal. She's charismatic, and she has her own little arc going. I guess she has sort of her own she little her arc own going arc. on with Johnny and all that. I just think she's just there's especially not much talk about her. She's a good scene. character. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah, especially the scene where Johnny, you know, forcefully kisses her in front of. Daniel. I know, right? Oh, that, that was so that was. awful to watch. And then she hits him, and I was like, yeah, "Yes, let's go." <laughs> yeah. I didn't know she sprained her wrist doing that. It didn't seem like she hit him that hard. Yeah, but, well, uh, yeah. well, why don't the friends say that, even though but you barely even, see We don't even see anything, so yeah, she yeah, might you not have sprained it. her wrist. She might, she might just, just be. Yeah. yeah. All right, my favorite character is Mr. Miyagi. I really liked oh, him. Okay. I know. Okay. I know it's I know it's such a like basic move to say that your favorite character is Mr. Miyagi. But I think he's just, I, so, I think he's just really good. He's so good, man. Um, but now your favorite scene, Zion. Favorite scene in the movie? Hmm. There's a lot of good scenes. I liked the beach scene. Probably, probably mm -hmm. either the You're the Most Around montage. I liked that. And I liked the... So probably the best around montage or the or the yeah, the tournament montage is that's what you're talking yeah. about yeah, yeah or the uh bu 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 each scene probably yeah um I I I think like I loved all the tournament fights for me yeah so like it's tough for me to like really really choose one but probably those last ones when he's fighting Johnny himself. Uh -huh. Like and yeah, I, I think that would probably be my favorite scene. Another interesting thing before we get on to your one bad thing about the movie, right? I think another interesting thing. Well, I've already is, said my I was not one thing. I've already said. My oh wait, one what was thing your one thing? 
my one thing was how so in the end of this film johnny congratulates daniel and realized that the era of his ways but when we go to cobra kai mm-hmm. a completely but is that really more of a problem with cobra kai and not the movie is the question i'm gonna count it as they're in the same you're gonna episode. count it you I like this movie that. too much. I get that. All right. Oh uh, well, I think one interesting thing is I was not oh. expecting it to end as abruptly as it did. Yeah, like, that like was he like... just gets the trophy and that's the ending move of the movie. I think well, it's hey, you kind gotta of nice. see, hey, you gotta see the sequels. They, I gotta see the sequels. See the sequels. Okay. Sequels. I, I mean, I thought that was nice and all that. They didn't drag it on. I was just it was surprising to me. I was not expecting it at uh-huh. all. All right. So with that said, we gotta write the movie, Zion. You want me to go maybe first? My you other, go first? Maybe my other, maybe another bad thing is I didn't like the drunk scene that much. I thought it was out of character for him. He liked the drunk. I don't know. I thought, it, I, I, I thought it added, here's the deal, it adds depth. It doesn't just make him, I think it gives him backstory. It shows a little bit into his life. That. Yeah, but did he have to be drunk? I didn't like the way he acted when he was drunk. It felt it felt out of character for I him. It didn't so. feel like a Mr. Miyagi thing. So that is I my. Think it was... That's another point. But writing this movie, I, I I'm think have to showing that... his flaws was good, and like showing that he, you know, his 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 wife's dead, and like that really messed with him and all that. Because he didn't just lose his wife; he technically lost his unborn child. Like it's sad, yeah. man. All right, now now yeah. you can give your rating. Sorry. I'm going to rate this a 5 out of 5. Um, Manali, Minos. 5 out of 5. No, I'm giving this a 5 out of 5, too. It's amateurly yeah, approved. Yeah, amateurly Pop approved. Pop it up there. Um, yeah. Yeah, amateurly approved. Amateurly approved. I, I mean, I, I think... I think this is a really like just special film. I think it's I, I don't think movie, yeah. yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. I mean it and there's like no other films like it probably it Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It makes it a lot of weird concepts that a normally a normally wouldn't see a martial arts movie com- combined with kind of this a high school this drama Disney or whatever you want to call it. Of, yeah. Yeah. You normally will want yeah, to see and, those things combined. And then the big those thing things. is it mixes Good. them so well. It doesn't feel unbelievable. Yeah. It doesn't feel yeah. like – it's just so interesting. It's I, I mean, I was not expecting it to – going into it, watching it, I was not expecting it to be what it was, but I'm so glad that it was what yeah. it was because it's so different from uh-huh. anything else. And I don't well, think anything's ever – people have tried to copy it, but I don't think they've ever gotten it exactly right. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially – well, I mean, they've also, Karate Kids also tried to repeat this formula, but in my yeah. opinion, they haven't, they haven't really they haven't. struck I don't know, it. man. Hillary Swank's you, version is really, no, I'm joking. I've never seen Hillary Swank's watched version. Hillary, <laughs> I've no. seen part of Hillary Swank's version as a child when it was on TV, but they have to I remember my Hillary family Sw- watching the version with Jaden Smith. I remember us watching it. I didn't understand what yeah, I remember, was going on. Yeah, the only thing I remember from the Jaden Smith version that's that's the kind of the reboot version, correct? Where they, I believe, I believe so. Right? I don't literally. I don't remember any. I just remember us watching it and me not knowing what's going on. I remember the like, only thing I remember so from might that have been one in is Asia. in that one they show a SpongeBob clip, but it's dubbed in like Japa knees and so i was always all right then what? well we want to thank you all for watching thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe uh our next two videos will be on karate kid 2 and the karate kid 3 uh, and then we'll be don't... doing yeah, a whoa, 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 whoa. discussion about cobra kai <laughs> seasons one through oh, four is that actually <laughs> happening no, no we're not doing that i was do you actually want to do that <laughs> I, 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 cool, we don't, I don't we need to review Karate Kid Cobra 2 and 3, Kai, unless Cobra I watch Kai, them Cobra and I'm like, Kai, oh Cobra my gosh. Kai. But maybe we could do a Cobra Kai special. That would be an interesting Cobra episode. Kai, Cobra so Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. All right, Zion. Any last things to tell the people? Uh, 
Goodbye, y'all. Bye.